Hi, it's Richard Moore from ScottishHorseRacing.com and we're just here at Kelso Racecourse with Anthea Morsehead. She's the clerk of the course here at uh, Kelso and you also cover Cartmel and York, is that right? I do, yes, in the, um, uh, in the summertime, yes. So I'm assistant clerk uh, to William Derby at York and, uh, and also I'm clerk of the course at, at Cartmel Racecourse but Kelso fits beautifully uh, with that. I did Kel uh, clerk Kelso you know, for, for a few years uh, and then when I moved south, Hazel Poplinski uh, took over and now I'm back at Kelso and it's a delight to be back here. Is it? And uh, what brought you here in the first place then? I, I mean, it's a, it's, a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful track. It's a proper national hunt track and, mm -hmm. and uh, my father used to train and, and I was lucky enough to ride as an amateur and great memories, you know, of, of, of racing around here and, and, and you know, we, uh, you know you'd, you'd set off really nice novices. If you've thought a lot about a horse and, uh, you know, it's a proper fair track that, you, you know, you'd like to come up and, and, and give a horse a good introduction. So it, it's, a, it's a lovely national hunt course and the, the crowd that come here, you know, even on a, on a midweek, you know, sort of wet day, there's a core uh, following who come here and they know their horses. They're not just here for the beer, they, they will take that as well, but yeah, they, yeah. you know, they, uh, they're not just here for the beer, they know their horses and, and they know their racing. So it's a delight to, to be here. Yeah, and as, like you say, there is a real uh, local buzz about the place, isn't there? There's a real hardcore of jumps fans who come regularly. Yes, that's right. And we, today we have a hunter chase and we're one of the few courses left in the country who, who run a sort of whole programme of hunter chases and, mm. and they bring, uh, you know, some uh, uh, a sort of following of their own, you know, that, 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 as, as well. So, you know, with the crowd will be boosted today by the fact that we do have a, you know, a hunter chase a on hunter the, chase uh, on and well. so on. So, um, so no, it, as I say, it's, it's, a, it's a proper national hunt track. And what challenge does Kelso present compared to York? Because obviously York and Cartmel are summer, so the winter it's going to be far more testing here. Do you get here earlier in the morning to see what the conditions are going to be like, or is it a a full-time job through the week tracking the conditions as they develop? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, uh, obviously, you know, winter conditions do present, you know, sort of greater problems mm -hmm. uh, and so on, because your track gets more worn, you don't have uh, growth in the winter, so, you, you know, your track doesn't recover the same way that it yeah. will recover, you know, you've got grass growth through the summer, mm -hmm. um, obviously your rainfall is higher, and then, you know, you've got the added problems, like the, running into this meeting, we've had gale force winds, uh, 50 mile an hour winds, then we've had covering of snow, then we've had frost, and mild um, conditions today. And exactly. Then, yeah, thank yeah. goodness, a mild front came across from the west, and uh, and the, and the rain, you know, and 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 the temperatures come up enough to take the frost out. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So yeah, you, you certainly need to be, you know, sharp on the ball early. And 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 these days, it's it's much easier to get information out to race goers and trainers with and racing professionals and with yeah. social media. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, you're tweeting conditions all the time, we adding links you. to the we Met Office. We I noticed. Yes. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really valuable, you yeah. know, because, you know, it, you know, it, it, it gets out there. Everyone has their audiences and it gets out yeah. very quickly. It yeah, does, yeah, absolutely. And what's the ground like here at Kelso? Does it hold water or is it drain well or? Do you know, I mean, unlike most courses, it's actually on very good farmland. A lot of race courses are in the places they are because it, it's not much good for anything else, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But here at, 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 um, at Kelso, we've got, uh, you know, we've got a very good, uh, we've got very good turf, um, very good land that grows very good turf. Mm -hmm. We've done, uh, we did a drainage last summer, you know, and that's always an ongoing project, you yeah, know, yeah. is drainage getting surface water, you know, away. Um, Richard was talking about maybe work being done on the hurdles course to make that even better. That's around. right, exactly. You know, if we were able to align the, the hurdles course around the top of the chase course, mm -hmm. then it would speed up the, 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 the time it takes to, to water, you know, irrigate the whole course for, you know, for those meetings in May and... and, 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 and it can and get a bit drier. That's right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Does it get quite fast in in uh, the late part of the season for you then, sort of April, um, May time? Well, that's when you expect ground to dry up mm -hmm. uh, and everything and, and, uh, and so on. You've got longer days, warmer temperatures and, and everything. Um, I mean, we're not a, you know, we're not a, a, a sand you know, base course like no, no, you know, like Musselburgh anyway. would dry very, very yeah. quick, yeah. Uh, and so on. So, you know, so it, it, it's a moisture retaining soil. I mean, it's pretty ideal, really. You know, from that point of view. But you know, in in, in summer conditions, obviously, you need to you know, you need to water to to maintain. What ideal. sort of watering do you do? Is it a pretty standard watering system you have? Or yeah, we have uh, we have a Briggs ir boom irrigator, so we, it irrigates rail to rail uh, very uh, evenly, uh, and we have a big um, lagoon that we you know that we take that water from. Right. So. Um, 
So it's a good system and it, and it works well for here. Um, as I say, it would make Brian, our head groundsman, uh, it would make his and his team's job a lot easier if we did, you know, reconfigure the course to put the, the, the hurdle next course to each next other. to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, Well, thank you for your time today, Anthony. It's been great talking to you and uh, we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks. Bye now. Thank bye you. bye.